So I have a small piece of wool here. This is Corydale sheep's wool. And this is in a comb top preparation. And spinning involves pulling apart these fibers and stretching them out and then getting twist into them so that they hold together. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put my hands close together and pull and pull. And no matter how hard you pull, it's not going to come apart. And the reason why this is true is because these fibers are like little hairs. If I pull on just this end, those little hairs come out. And that's how long those hairs are. So if I have my hands closer together than that, if I have my fingers holding closer together than that, I'm pulling on both ends of the same fibers and I can't pull them apart. In order to make my fibers pull apart and move so that I can draft them, I have to have my hands further apart than the hairs are long. That's further apart than the staple length. The staple length is the length of those individual hairs. So if I have my hands close together, I can't pull it apart. But if I move my hands further apart, I can move and those fibers will pull apart and they'll pull apart and pull apart and they will pull all the way apart and just come completely to pieces. If instead of doing that and just pulling apart, if while I am pulling apart I'm also twisting those fibers, then I get to a point where there's twist in there and that twist holds it together and turns it into yarn. And I can't pull these apart anymore. If I relax, it's going to kink up on itself. It's going to get all twisty. That's normal. It's supposed to do that. So basically, this is all that spinning is, is pulling apart fiber and putting twist in it until it turns into yarn. So, I can pull this apart and twist it and it turns into yarn and keep pulling it apart and keep twisting and it turns into yarn and I could do this forever but I'm going to run into a problem which is where do I store this yarn because if I let go of the end it wants to untwist and fly apart so I've kind of got to store this on something so that the twist doesn't get out and that this and that this uh, has a chance to stabilize this yarn so one good solution to that is to wrap it around a stick. Now, all a spindle is, is a stick with a weight on it. And with the weight on it, you're able to make it spin in the air and twirl around. And when it twirls around, you can you use that twirling energy to put twist into the fiber that you're drawing apart and turning into yarn. I'll show you what I mean. Here's a spindle. I have here a piece of Corydale sheep's wool and I'm going to spin it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by tugging out a little bit and making a little loop and putting that in the hook of this spindle. And then I'm going to twist this. I'm twirling, I'm twirling, I'm twirling. And then move my hands further out, far enough apart that I can pull on it, and the twist isn't holding it locked together. But see, there's no twist in there yet. It's not strong enough to hold together as yarn, so I've got to get twist into it so that it will hold together. And I can keep doing this just by twirling the spindle. And I've got a whole bunch more twist in there. When I relax this, it curls up on itself. That's normal. It's supposed to do that. That's how you know it's working and it's turning into yarn. So now what I have just done is I have spun what's called a leader, which is the very beginning of my yarn. Now I've got this held in my hand over here, in my right hand, and I'm going to pinch this, pinch this up here, and this keeps the twist from going up into that part that I haven't spun yet. I'm going to pinch this, and then I'm going to bring up other fingers, and then I can wrap, 
around my fingers in kind of a figure eight. And I'm holding on to that. Now I come down here and I pinch this and pull it right off the hook. So now I have my leader that I pulled off the spindle and I'm going to just put it right on the shaft. I'm going to hold it there with my thumb and I'm going to wrap this a couple of times until it kind of sticks. And then I'm going to move and I'm going to twirl and twirl and come up here to where this notch is in the spindle whorl and come over and up under the hook and now my leader is secure. Now I can twirl this spindle by flicking it with my fingers down here. When I do that it spins quickly and it makes a whole lot of twist pile up in this short little bit of yarn that I have coming off from the hook. I can hold right here, hold on to that and come up and pull away from that in my fiber supply and pull and that twist moves right out through that yarn through that those new drafted fibers and I twirl it and I pull it twirl and pull and move it up and it's still twirling and I move that twist up into what I'm pulling apart and I do the same thing like before where I catch it with one finger and put my thumb and walk it up on my fingers to hold on to the, the yarn so that it's still under tension and doesn't kink up on itself. Now I move it out of the hook and down below the whorl and I twirl the spindle to make the yarn wind on and I feed it off those fingers that I have holding on to it and then I come up and under and catch it in the hook and I'm ready to spin again. So now we're going to explain a technique called park and draft. And in park and draft what we do is we build up twist in the leader portion of our yarn. That's what's between the hook right here and these fingers that are pinching off the twist keeping it out of our fiber supply which is right here and we're holding that in, in this hand. Um, so what we're doing with park and draft is building up twist in this part here that isn't super twisty now but it's going to get very twisty. And then we're going to move that twist out into the fiber supply uh, as we draft fiber out and let the twist take it. So I'm twirling the spindle. I'm twirling the spindle. Now you can see there's a whole lot of twist built up there. It's very kinky. So now park my spindle. You can put it between your knees if you're sitting or tuck it under your thigh if you're sitting or you can just hold it uh, under your elbow like this and now I'm going to pull apart some fiber, drafting it, and I'm going to smooth that twist out into there. I'm going to ease that twist right out into, that, into there. Now once you're better at this and you've gotten some skill, you'll be able to have the, the spindle spinning and keep going and draft so quickly that it stays ahead of that twist.